Hello, this is Gary Tilkin, and I'm the author and founder of Gary Tilkin Consultants, Inc. What we're going to talk about today is a justification story called the How We Value Your Vehicle Story. This justification story falls under the category of a setup and knockdown technique. First, let me explain the purpose or objective of this particular story. Most clients have absolutely no clue the method to which we use as a professional automobile dealership to evaluate their car to come up with a value. Their concept is swag, scientific wild ass guess. That's why oftentimes clients are somewhat insulted with the value that you give them. They have no idea how you came up with the value. So the only thing that comes to their mind is their car, their wonderful car that has been so good to them has got to be worth more than that. Some clients even get up and leave because they're so insulted. What we need to do to be fair to the client and for the client to be fair to us is to educate them on the many things that we do ourselves to make sure that the value that we give them first time every time is dead on the money. That's what this technique is. This technique is used right before you do emotional sales trigger number four which is a trial close and go and see your sales manager. The key is do it before you appraise the car. This is what it sounds like and when you're done listening to it I'd like for you to get with your accountability partner and role play it. Nothing's learned or internalized until you role play it. I'm going to start with an open-ended question called the sales cushion. I ask you to do the same to get the client's permission to actually allow you to make the presentation. Here we go. Mr. Client, has anybody described to you the method to which we use here at our dealership to value your vehicle? They haven't? What I'd like to do with your permission is take a few seconds and do that with you. Is that okay? Well. We here at our dealership have a three-phase approach. The first phase is we have to establish the condition of your vehicle. So we have an expert in the field. That expert goes up to your vehicle and looks at two specific areas. One area is the appearance and the other area is mechanical. From an appearance standpoint, they look for broken windshields. They look for rips or tears inside. They look for dings and dents. From a mechanical standpoint, they look if the transmission goes correctly if the engine is backfiring, if the air conditioner blows cold. Anything that they find from an appearance or a mechanical standpoint, they fix. That's our capital investment into your vehicle to make it retailable. That's actually called reconditioning. Now, don't worry about that because we can do reconditioning far less expensive than you can because it's our business. And that's why people trade their cars. Well, on to our second phase. Our second phase is we go on to the free evaluation sites. The sites that are not only available to us, but they're available to you. The number one site is called Kelly Blue Book, www.kbb.com. Now, there's three other sites, but have you ever heard of Kelly Blue Book? Well, would it surprise you to know that the three other sites that are available do exactly the same thing? And we look at all four. The other sites are Black Book, NADA, and Edmunds.com. Now, what's funny is when we go on those sites and we put in your condition, your car, your make, your miles, everything that's pertinent to your vehicle, we usually come up with four different amounts, four different values. So who's to say he was right? But yet it's still good information. Now the third phase is the most powerful phase to get an accurate value for your vehicle. We go on to online automotive auctions all over the country. The largest is called Mannheim and they're in all major cities, and they have thousands and thousands of vehicles that go through every day. We also go to regional, and we go to local sites. We want to know exactly what your vehicle, in the condition that your vehicle's in, with the options that your vehicle has, is selling for today to dealers, because that truly establishes the worth of your vehicle. No more accurate way can come up with to be able to accurately tell you what the value of your vehicle is, other than what people are paying for it today. Those are our three phases. And what's interesting about it is that all automobile dealerships across the United States, all of them, use basically the same approach. They all look at the condition, they all look at the free sites, and they all go to the auctions. So the difference between what you would get from one dealer or another dealer in today's market is minuscule. Yet, sometimes folks come over to me and say, hey Gary, another dealership gave me thousands of dollars more. Now, it doesn't surprise me, and it's not the first time I've heard that. But I assure you and I assure them that the vehicle is only worth what the market will bear and I'll walk them through it. Now, 
Does the method to which we use here in our dealership to value your car sound businesslike? Then can I take a few moments and can I appraise your vehicle?